Today, we are going to talk about one of our favorite horror film, which is The Shining. And my name is Nur Irdina Iwani binti Muhammad Salura and... And my name is Wan Nur Adibah binti Muhammad Razi. So, Adibah, what, uh, what is about the movie? As I know, uh, Stanley Kubrick is the director of The Shining. Mm -hmm. uh, in 1980s, his film can be categorized as the best horror film at the century. Of that century, okay. Yes. And then? Okay, his movies has uh, inspired an entire generation of film makers at that time. Hmm. Compared to film nowadays, people might call it the worst film ever. But still good. Yeah. I don't suppose they... Uh told you anything in Denver about the tragedy we had up here during the winter of 1970? Well, a man named Charles Grady is the winter caretaker. And he came up here with his wife and two little girls, I think about eight and ten. From what I've been told, I mean, he seemed like a completely normal individual. But at some point during the winter, he must have suffered some kind of a complete mental breakdown. He ran amok and uh, killed his family with an axe. <laughs> can rest assured, Mr. Ullman, that's not going to happen with me. Mom? Yeah? Do you really want to go and live in that hotel for the winter? Sure I do. It'll be lots of fun. Yeah, I guess so. For some people, uh, solitude and Isolation can, of itself, become a problem. What do you do? They killed you and Danny. You did this to me. Caretaker has murdered his wife and two daughters and then he committed suicide but Jack still wants to stay there and he said that that's not going to happen and my wife will be thrilled and fascinated to hear about this yes do people talk this way about real tragedies hmm. will his wife be absolutely fascinated who knows Jack, wife Randy and sons Danny moved yeah. into the vast hotel just a walker uh, shutting it shutting down it in a winter. Okay. For us three, there is no... The tree has no sense of a loving family, okay? Because Jack is busy with his typewriter mm. at the hall. Wendy and Danny put together a version of every everyday life, which is cooking and playing with his toys. Mm. That's all. They do. So, we are tired of walking and standing mm -hmm. and we end up sitting down now and now we're gonna talk about the next characters and a bit of story plot okay, okay Adiba, can you explain about the next character which is Dennis? yeah of course Danny has uh, an imaginary friend mm -hmm. named Tony who speaks in a lower voice, lower voice yes okay. lower voice Tony seems to be Danny device for channeling psychic input 
I see. So let's watch the a bit of uh, Dennis scene. Okay. Next main character is Wendy, uh, Jet's wife. Uh -huh. Wendy, what do you think about her character? Okay, I'm gonna explain about Wendy. She's a companion and playmate for Danny, mm -hmm. and he, she tries to cheer Jack until he tells her to stop interrupting his work. Then she discovers the reality of that work in one of the movie's shocking revelations. Yes. I'll come back later on with a couple of sandwiches for you. And Maybe you'll let me read something then. Wendy, <clears throat> let me explain something to you. Whenever you come in here and interrupt me, you're breaking my concentration. You're distracting me. And it will then take me time to get back to where I was. Understand? Yeah. Okay guys, we have finished talk about the characters in the movie and now we will talk about the creepy atmosphere at the hotel. Ariba? I believe the review was I talking about it's the snow. It's the snow to me just adds an extra level of creepy. Yeah, I know right? The fact that the snows cover uh, entire things outside, it gave me such a goosebump and shivering, you know? Okay, let's talk about the entire movie. The movie is not about the ghost. Mm -hmm. It's all about the madness and the energies it set. Yes, Jack is an alcoholic and child abuser who has reportedly not having a drink for five months. Mm -hmm. And is called a recovering alcoholic, I think. He has an imaginary bartender and keep imagining that he's drunk. Yes, and Danny has a psychic input. No, psychic power and keep seeing the mother girl. While Wendy, uh, she's terrified with her enraged husband and perhaps also receive uh, versions of the psychic output. Well, they literally lost reality together. Yes, and uh, from the movie, Jack has a uh, has his famous catchphrase. Yes, uh, yes. Here, here's, here's Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> Here's Johnny! Ah, I want to add something about Danny. From our research, uh, actually Danny didn't even know that he was uh, making a horror film. He was five when he was... he makes the film. Oh, right, Kubrick told him that uh, they are filming drama. Uh -huh. He didn't see the actual movie until he's 16. It's a long time to watch that. Yeah. I think this is classic. It's got the best Jack Nicholson performance ever from others movie. So there there are some bad acting in there. Yeah, for example like uh, Wendy's character which is by Mrs. Sorens. The Shining could have been done a, a little bit better and could have been a bigger part of the story actually. So I gonna say to go out and watch it and I'm gonna give it just 3.5 of 5. Okay, for Out me, I, I probably some saying some of the exact same things as you. And I think my rating would be either 3 or 3.5 out of 5, somewhere right there. Uh, we just might be saying that it from the different angles of it. So, awesome. So, basically, we... To wrap up yes. our thoughts, guys. You See. should watch it if you don't watch it. So, you should check it, check it out. <laughs> It's a good movie, so yes. that's basically what we think. That's all uh, for, for nice. our uh, movie review. And my name is Nurul Naiwani Binti Mama Salwira. And, and my name is Wanur Adiba Binti Mama Razi. Okay guys, see you. Bye. Bye.